Hey guys, welcome back to 11 Cups. This week I actually wanted to share with you guys one of my, I guess, a guilty pleasure drink that I like to make at home. So this drink is actually something that I discovered from a cafe around my old job. Ever since I tried it, I just fell in love with it. So once I had my espresso machine, I decided to try to and replicate the recipe. And the recipe that I'm sharing with you guys today is the raspberry mocha. It's the perfect drink for those times when you want something a bit more rich and decadent. Anyways, let's jump right into it. Alright, so the ingredient for this recipe is actually very simple. So obviously you want to have a nice coffee bean. For this, you don't really need something too special. I prefer to chew something with a bit more nuttiness and chocolateness to it. But you can actually go with whatever coffee you have um, since a lot of the origin qualities of the coffee is going to be covered up by that chocolate and that raspberry. So again, don't use something too expensive. Just really anything decent that you have around the house is fine. Alright, so the next thing that you will need is a chocolate sauce of your choice. I typically like to use the sauce from Morning and this sugar-free dark chocolate one is my absolute favorite. And next, you want to have a raspberry sauce. This raspberry sauce that I'm using is actually also from Morning. It comes in a huge bottle, so I like to split them up into these little smaller containers, so this way it's, uh, it's a little bit easier to portion. Just a small bottle like this is gonna last quite a few cups. And of course, last but not least, you need to have your milk, which I'm keeping in the fridge at the moment. For this drink, I typically like to use a slightly bigger cup. I usually make the sweeter coffee drinks in this Starbucks cup I got from Seattle. So this cup is about 14 ounces when you fill it all the way up. Typically, the drink will come out to be about 10 to 12 ounces. So the steps to make this is actually very similar to a typical latte. And of course, we are just going to weigh out some beans. So for my recipe, the amount of beans that I like to use is just slightly more than my typical cup of latte. So I usually use about 18 grams. All right, so it's just about 18. And the grind setting that you want to use is pretty much the same as your normal cup of latte. So depending on the age of the bean and stuff like that, we are still aiming for one to two extraction within 25 to 30 seconds. All right, so that's about right. Okay, just gonna temp it down. Beautiful. All right, so obviously after your machine's been preheated, you just wanna go ahead and pull our shot. I'm just gonna leave the water filter in the machine for the moment. Before we start the extraction, I like to first measure sauce directly into this cup, just because the sauce is a little bit thick. So therefore I want the hot espresso to help me melt the chocolates, so this way we can avoid as much leftover chocolate sauce on the bottom of the cup as possible. So for the chocolate, if you're using the same sauce as I am, you wanna go ahead and measure about 18 grams of chocolate sauce. You just wanna go a little bit slower because a lot of times I go over by accident because I squeeze too hard. So I just wanna go very slowly. All right, so I went over a little bit there. Right now we have about 19.2, which is not a huge deal. So this is how 19 grams is gonna look like. So now I'm just gonna place my scale underneath my porta filter as you normally would and place the cup on top. And we're just gonna go ahead and tear out the scales. So this way it'll be easier to measure the actual amount of espresso that's gonna come out. And of course we're gonna time our shot. So after the espresso is done, as you can see, the chocolate is not going to fully melt on its own. So I just take a chopstick and go ahead and just stir it up and help with the melt process. And just gonna check your progress. Yep, so this is pretty good. 
So of course you guys want a stronger drink, you can feel free to add another shot of espresso. But for me, when I make this, I'm usually craving something a little bit sweeter. So I just use the normal portion. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and put the cup back on the scale, tear it out again. The next part is actually the raspberry sauce. So the amount of raspberry sauce I like to put is usually around 12 grams. And again, if you think that is too sweet for you, go ahead and try it out and obviously you can reduce if, if needed. Again, go very slowly on this because 12 grams is actually not a lot in terms of volume. So that's just about right again. So the last thing that we're gonna need is just a nice cup of steamed milk. If you happen to have a pitcher that have the measurement built in like the one that I have here, you can just go ahead and measure out about six ounces of milk. You can go over a little bit as well. So this is about like six-ish. And we're just gonna go ahead and steam it as you would normally. All right, so we have our milk. And of course, if you want to be a little bit fancy, you can still make a pour with this, but just know that it's gonna be a little bit more difficult with a larger cup. All right, that's it. This is the raspberry mocha. Cheers. Mm. The rich dark chocolate combined with the sweet raspberry sauce and of course the espresso makes this such an enjoyable drink that just picks your spirit right up. Anyways, I really hope that you guys will get to try this recipe out at home. This is definitely one of my favorite guilty pleasure drinks along with the peppermint mocha. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.